Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the last video again of the year. Uh, we thought we'd just make a video to do kind of a beta release of Casefile. It's a new application that we've been working on. Um, and we just want to kind of talk about what it has and what we can do about it, what we can do with it. Okay, so the first thing that we found was that a lot of analysts um, who were using Multigo were not using it kind of with transforms for the OSN side of it, but were more using it with their own uh, human intelligence. And they were using data that they got, say, from phone calls and other intelligence sources, and using the tool to kind of visualize it and uh, map out all the information uh, based on an assignment or, or whatever they were working on. And this is kind of the reason that we've created Casefile, is to solve uh, this sort of problem where analysts can use a different application just for visualizing their human intelligence. And uh, we've kind of built a whole bunch of features around just doing that. Um, we're also going to make it virtually free for everyone. Um, so we're not going to limit it uh, in terms of community edition as we have with Multigo. So we're hoping that people who kind of work with human intelligence and things will, will kind of use this um, for that, for that sort of side of their, their tasks. Um, so a nice way to think of it is that Casefile is the new Multigo without transforms, uh, but it still has tons of new features that we'll get into now. So just to quickly go over the features, uh, we've added sort of 61 new entities. So there's a whole bunch of new things, um, specifically dealing with the human intelligence. So things like uh, weapons or locations, um, so that you can map out those sort of things within your investigation. Uh, we've done some, uh, some work with file attachments, so you can quickly and easily kind of drag pictures and files and photos that deal with your um, case onto the graph, uh, onto entities, and you can use them uh, within it. So you can have one specific entity with, you know, say, documentation that you found that links to him or pictures of him that you found. Um, we've made it that you can annotate uh, directly onto nodes. So you can say, I know this because of this uh, with a little note. Uh, you can man manual linking is now a lot easier. It's just really quick to drag and drop um, your links between your entities. Uh, we've done a whole bunch of bookmarking. So when you get to a large graph, you can say, okay, well, these nodes all link together because of something and I've bookmarked them in a specific color and I can quickly go backwards and forwards and uh, get those, those nodes together. Um, we've made a way that you can combine individual graphs. So now if I've got two different graphs that I've been working on and I combine them together, I'll get something that says, hey, these graphs are sharing information. Uh, here's the points where they link up. So now I can start looking at cross analysis kind of information. Uh, we've looked at uh, importing CSV in XLS again. So now there's a way that when you've got a large file like that that you're importing into it, um, you can now define the links between entities. So you can say, I've got uh, this person calling this person and the link will have the time on uh, or something else that you can use with that. Uh, copy and paste from the web we've added. So you can easily go, okay, here's an image. I paste it into Multigo. It goes, okay, here's the image. I've pulled it down and that's what it looks like. Um, or you can paste the URL into it and it'll automatically start looking at things like that. Um, we've also added some things like quick draw actions on nodes. So I've got a URL um, or I've got a person or an alias and I can say, okay, let me Google that. Just quickly click on the link, opens up my browser, or I can say, you know, view this URL that I've got attached to it um, or something like that. We've also had something to encrypt your graphs. So now you can share your graphs uh, and keep them safe, you know, wherever you're distributing them. Okay, so I think let's just look at a couple of the videos now that we've made uh, just to show some of these features. Okay, so we'll look at the new entities. Um, you can see them here on the left of your screen. Same as they always have been in Multigo, they're just now separated into, um, you know, multiple different categories. Uh, there's really quite a lot of them. Um, and of course, you can still add your own and you know, there's still the ability to, to extend it there. There you can see I've just added a drug dealer onto my graph. Um, we'll look at attaching files and photos, as I discussed. So here I've just opened up a whole bunch of uh, images. I'm just going to select all of these, um, and now I can just drag them straight onto my graph. It attaches them. Um, and now when I look at the, the entity, I can see all the images there at the bottom. So now I can, you know, easily kind of say, okay, well, this guy looks like these penguins. Um, and of course, it doesn't only apply to, to images. You can also kind of look at uh, other types of documents. So here we've just got a, a PDF that we've attached. And now it's attached in the file. So now that when I send this file to someone else, they've got all the data that I need. And of course, you can always open any of the attachments. Um, so here we just select that PDF that we're looking at. Uh, you can annotate various entities. So here's my user that I've added. Uh, I can just click on the notes. I can create a note. 
um, just a, a multiple line note in this case. And that's a nice way to edit it right on the graph. But of course, in the new kind of pop-up, I can also change it there. So here I can change the note to, say, take out the second line or extend it in any way. Um, and I can turn it on and off as well. Uh, manual linking of nodes, still pretty much the same as Multigo. So just dragging a line from one entity to another. There you can see there's a whole bunch of new properties. Uh, we'll change property wizard. So it's really nice to, to, kind of, to kind of easily link multiple nodes. Um, and if you select the node, you can also change the various properties of the nodes. I can say, okay, it's a dash line. I can change the color and the weight. Um, and I can set any text that I want onto it. And there you see it's, uh, it's changed. So that's really nice for linking it. And of course, you can keep going and link you know, as much information as you want here. So there you see I've linked uh, these four guys together. And we'll look at bookmarking. So this is where you set specific bookmarks for entities. Uh, so here I've got these entities and I can zoom into it and I can just change the, the bookmark color of it. So there's about five or six of them I think that you can change. Um, and I can change it within this window as well. And you'll see it sets, it sets that. Uh, within actually the main screen of Multigo, you can also select entities based on what bookmark they have. So I select all red ones, uh, green or bl blue or whatever else that I want. So there you can see that. Um, and you can see it's still displayed in the detail view as we had before. Okay, so combining graphs, this is quite a, quite a nice new feature that we're looking at. So I've got a couple of entities that I've changed here. Um, and I've created a new one. It's the same, the same name. So now I've got two entities on two different graphs that are the same. Um, link them up. So this, is, this you can think of as two separate investigations. So I can now select these, copy them, and now when I paste them into the new graph, it says, hey, I found two entities that are linked. So now when I've got different analysts working on different graphs, I can now see correlation between them and I can have the graphs actually link up together uh, to see a full investigation view. So there you can see a, a nice example of it. Um, we've looked at the new XLS, so there's a, just a simple uh, CSV file. We're gonna just save that somewhere on the desktop. Okay, and then within Multigo, same as before, import file. Now we select our CSV exactly the same as we've done before. Uh, select the column, map it to a specific entity type. Um, then we select another column, again map it to an entity type. So now it's going to link these two different types of entities based on our file. Um, and there you can see it. And now I can select the link between them. And I can say, okay, well for this specific link, I want to map it to a third column. So now I have the ability to map um, why these entities are being linked based on, on what's in the file. So that's a really nice feature um, and we've had a lot of good uh, feedback from, from that. Uh, then we've also worked on just integrating with kind of the web, uh, being able to copy and paste stuff. See here's Rilof's name, so I can copy and paste that. It's automatically as a person and I can say, okay, well I'll copy the photo um, and here I can quickly add it in uh, to my pictures that I've already got, so as an, uh, as an attachment. And there you see it's quickly downloading that, and there it is inside uh, this entity. So now I share it with someone else, and they've already got this that I've found. Um, and I can also do things like I can take the URL of the page, and I can just paste that in. And now I've got a URL for this specific um, entity. And you see it's not as, you know, it's a lot nicer in display than it was before. And I can obviously manually link those to say, hey, this is part of it. Can change the type. So now it knows that, okay, this is a LinkedIn URL. Um, and now when I, when I go on it, you'll see that I can, I can view the URL at the top right. So I can just click on that and there it opens up. So now it's a lot nicer to give um, investigators this sort, of, you know, this sort of feedback and they can share these graphs. And there you see I've just pasted an image again and now I've got an image straight into my graph, link it again. Um, so that's a, that's a nice new feature. Then we've also added on that you can uh, encode, uh, encrypt your graphs. So here we're just going to save it as a specific file. And now we'll be able to give it a password. So now I can share my graph safely uh, across the net and they have all this information uh, within it. And when you open it, of course, you need the same password. Okay, so now that you guys have kind of seen the idea behind case file, looked at a whole bunch of the new features, I uh, just want to let you know that our release plan for it is that we'll um, obviously release it officially at the beginning of next year. So a couple months away. Um, we're looking at January, hopefully. Um, there's gonna be a community and a commercial edition, 
but the only difference between them will be that the uh, community edition has a background that says for demo use only. Um, so if you guys are using it for commercial purposes, please do the right thing. Um, get a copy yourself. And we're going to try and make the commercial edition as affordable as possible. So it won't be as expensive as Multigo um, and primarily aimed at kind of, you know, your large group of analysts doing human intelligence. Uh, then after the release of case file, um, obviously this is just the beta. After the official release of case file, uh, we're also going to release Multigo 3.1, which I have a whole bunch of these features in as well, um, and will allow you to integrate kind of your open source intelligence side with your human intelligence side. So it'll be a nice, a nice kind of bridge between them. Um, and yeah, so go ahead, download the beta, let us know what you think, and we look forward to, to hearing from you guys.